What do you think about this, this idea of turning more toward career and technical education for these high schools that have really low graduation rates? I think it's a very good idea. It's an idea that's long overdue. Uh, unfortunately, uh, for the two terms that Mike Easley was governor, there was this notion that all students need to go to college. And it was something that he pushed, uh, and, and in conjunction with the Learn and Earn early college schools that he created, try to get that uh, that all students would go to college idea into our schools but unfortunately what he forgot was that not one size fits all and that's where career and technical education really comes into play is that these meet the needs of students who are not college bound who are going to take their graduation a d diploma and look for a job and need the skills uh, coming out of high school that career and technical education can provide a lot of these legislators seem to like this idea, but we did hear some concerns from the North Carolina School Boards Association. Are these concerns well-founded? There are concerns with the legislation that passed for charter-like, innovative, and autonomous schools, which is what they're calling these uh, charter light schools, essentially, with this bill that just passed. Uh, there is some concern that there will be some overlap there. Uh, no one is quite sure what to make of this bill that creates 135, essentially, fake charter schools uh, in school districts across the state. Uh, but I don't think it's a long-term concern. I think once it gets sorted out in the next month or two, uh, there will be no problem with uh, uh, any problem with the nexus between uh, the charter schools or these fake charter schools and career and technical schools.